Yeah, look, it is an exciting day. Um, these things, I think, are such an honour, um, a privilege, and also, I think, for all of us as well in the Silver Ferns, you know, we can only congratulate both Gina and uh, Sulu um, on the leadership that they're going to take on. And I think also for us in the Silver Ferns as well, providing um, with the naming of both of those players, with the support of both Jane and Amelia Ann still in the midst, um, it helps us to consolidate our program, especially in these uncertain times. So I'm wrapped, I'm wrapped for both of them. Look, they're sort of similar but different in some respect. Um, Gina, you know, I, I, I've known her since the in the Cargill days. I feel she's growing, not growing up, but she's definitely shifted over the last couple of years. Uh, she's meticulous in planning. Uh, her attention to detail is amazing. Um, she's also not afraid. Um, to put her opinions across, even though at times it may be different to others. Um, and she's got a great inner drive and motivation to be better and really pull herself apart to some degree um, in, in trying to do that. So she always wants to improve her game. Um, Sulu, I think, has over the years, once again, has had a great story. Um, and she's in that same sort of readiness i suppose and that level of maturity where she's come out of obviously being successful for mystics and um them winning the anz premiership but also her uh, level of maturity experience uh cool-headedness and strategically she brings those sort of qualities to the current mix of our leadership group so I think the great thing about both of them, and also when I add Mills and, and um, uh, Jane in there as well, is they're all very complimentary, but very strong young woman. Um, and those are great people and great role models we want to lead our sport. After Netball World Cup, and it seems so long ago, back in 2019, and, and obviously with the retirements of some of our players, and um, even though Katrina's not retired, but she hasn't played for a wee while, so you know she'll come back in somewhere along the line. But we have lost over 400 cats, um, and, and we ain't gonna, you know, we're not gonna be able to build that overnight. And obviously, with the COVID as well. You know, we can do, we can only do what we can do with the current copper players that we have. So the overall thing is now about how we can um, develop our depth, uh, build what I call as our community of practice and have uh, more leaders involved. So uh, we wanted to start it last year in regards to our captain's program or our leadership program. But because of COVID, we weren't able to do that. So we we're able to get it underway this year, um, which involved, as you mentioned, the old laminator. And um, so, you know, she's been able to provide a mentoring role to all the captains, plus also our current leadership group. Um, and also we did workshops with all the ANZ captains as well. So the whole idea is how we can share the load um, knowing that we have Sammy there, um, Shannon is in the midst of the Silver Ferns and obviously Claire as well. So knowing that we can't um, increase those numbers in regards to trying to get 400 cats out, but knowing that we can share the load so that nobody is, is isolated. Um, and, and by building a community uh, of leaders, I think that's a great way forward.